student i am going to discuss a topic name of the topic is recruitment and this topic is related to the course of ba 4 sam major and ba 6 sam general so the topic is recruitment recruitment first of all we should have to know what is the meaning of recruitment meaning of the recruitment in simple word it is a process to select the persons for filling up jobs in various offices which are lying vacant then the definition there are numbers of definition about the recruitment i am not going to discuss all the definition but two important definitions related to the recruitment are number one is ld white according to ld white recruitment means specific steps taken to attract suitable candidates to apply for examination then another important definition that is kingsley according to him public recruitment may be defined as that process through which suitable candidates are deduced to complete for appointment to the public service so from this definition we can conclude that recruitment is a process is a whole process and through this process the various posts in the government offices are recruited or appointed now the process of recruitment what is the process of recruitment is a totality process is a totality and this process are number one is requisition or number of post vacant so first of all is number numbers of post how many posts are vacant then number two is determination of qualification and conditions of service qualification what are the qualification to the post then number three each design application format so application format application format then number four each advertisement of various posts through media advertisement then number 5 is scrutiny of application forms filled by candidate scrutiny of application form then number 6 is conduct examination conduct examinations or interview then certification of the eligible candidate that means who are eligible certification of the eligible candidate then another is selection list prepared among the selected candidates then appointment by the appointing authority appointment by the appointing authority and number 10 is placement placement of the employee so these are the process and this process are followed at the time of recruitment
now we are going to uh, discuss about the various types or kinds of recruitment kinds of recruitment we can divide the types or kinds of recruitment into two one is negative recruitment another is positive recruitment and number b is direct direct recruitment and another is indirect recruitment so we can divide the types of recruitment into two one is negative recruitment another is positive recruitment and then again direct recruitment and indirect recruitment there are several several types so uh, recruitment process are followed by various countries of the world in various ways so what is negative recruitment first of all negative recruitment means a provision made to keeping under qualified and unfit candidates out without accepting any important role in attracting the suitable candidates generally this method accepted in the situation when the number of candidates was more than the number of post that is negative recruitment on the other hand the positive recruitment is a method to active search of qualified and poor qualified and most competent candidates for appointment in the various post now the direct recruitment and indirect recruitment direct recruitment direct recruitment means recruitment of the vacant post in various government offices by adopting prescribed method by the qualified and appropriate candidates from the open market generally this method is followed to fill up the post of lower levels or entry levels in all departments now merit of direct recruitment merit merits of direct recruitment direct recruitment provides opportunity for appointment to young and qualified candidates number 2 it gives opportunity to the best selection of candidate from the open market then number 3 number 3 it creates scope of choice of the appointing authority because selection are made from large number of candidates the number d is direct recruitment is based on the democratic way it gives equal chances to all qualified candidates the number 5 is it provides opportunities among the candidates to improve their skill and qualification so these are the method these are the uh, merit of the direct recruitment then there are some demerits of the direct recruitment demerits are number 1 di uh, direct method of recruitment have a chance to appoint inexperienced and young persons to responsible post then number 2 is it is expensive because inexperienced young persons who are directly appointed to have to be given costly training to uh, for long time then number c is there is a possibility of shift to other jobs of the employees who are already serving in the department then number for each the employees may not work efficiently if there is no provision of promotion for them then direct recruitment system discourages the mind of them those who are continue working in the department so these are the demerits of the direct recruitment now indirect recruitment
indirect recruitment indirect recruitment refers to internal source of recruitment this system is generally based on promotion indirect recruitment is a method of recruitment when the new and higher post remain vacant the posts are filled by promoting the qualified suitable and experienced person among them those who have or who are serving in the department for long time now merits of indirect recruitment merits of indirect recruitment indirect recruitment improves the confidence of employees that preference will be given to them if vacancies occur then number 2 is recruited persons in indirect recruitment are experienced and they know very well about the department then number 3 is employees in indirect recruitment shows loyalty because it provides them job satisfaction job security and scope of promotion then number 4 is when employees are appointed from within they require very little training then number 5 is indirect recruitment is less costly and it reduces the cost and burden of the appointing authority so these are the merit of indirect recruitment now demerits of the indirect recruitment demerits of indirect recruitment number 1 is indirect recruitment is undemocratic because it gives no opportunity to the fresh candidates then number 2 is new blurs and the persons who have latest knowledge are denied to enter in the job then number 3 is it is or in this system the source of supply of employees are limited then number 4 this method is not encouraging the young and competent candidates to enter in service then number 5 is employees are promoted on the basis of seniority possibility is that efficient employees may be deprived so these are the demerits of the indirect recruitment so i hope it will be benefited for the student of ba fourth sem major and ba sixth sem general i hope all of you will uh, obey the lockdown and hope you will be better and to maintain the social distance and hope all will be well thanks